What's up guys? Uh, let's talk about this problem. I think most of you haven't done this one properly. So let's discuss this problem here, right? So, so we want to find the radius of convergence or interval of convergence of this power series. Right. Uh, let's, okay. Definitely we have to use a uh, a ratio test so let's use ratio test here right a sub n plus 1 divided by n you can compute that when you simplify that modulus of that you can show that g is equal to this right so 1 plus 1 over n everything squared mod of x and divided by uh, n cube times 1 plus 2 over 3n times 1 plus 1 over 3n that as n goes to infinity this bit this bit here goes to 1 then we left with this one or uh, this should be mod of x right mod of x over 27 right so we know that uh, know that if this one is less than uh, less than one uh, according to ratio test, can say that that uh, power series is convergent. Otherwise, it is di divergent, right? So so we now we don't know what happened at the boundaries. Boundaries are plus or minus n two n cube, right? Three cube, three cube. So let's consider one by one. When you consider n equals x equals three cube, right? So you can sub this one into the power series. Then you get something. Uh, something. What do you get? Something like n factorial cube divided by 3n factorial times 3 cube to the n right all right and here we use a binomial expansion of 1 plus 2 to the n to the 3n right which is same with 3 to the 3n so this is the binomial expansion so this is one of terms of that binomial expansion right which is less than or equal to that full expression full binomial expression right so when you simplify this bit here you get something like this right so So I take this term to other side, I rearrange this inequality, then I can take this term to other side. I get something like this, right, which is greater than or equal to 1. So I claim that this one is true. Uh, factorial n is greater than or equal to this bit, this product. So I can show this one uh, using mathematical induction when n is equal to 1. We can, it is obvious that this is true. So we assume that the result, the claim is true for when as for n equals uh, p, right? That means this. You can show that this result is true for n equals n equal to n plus 1, right? And you simplify this. So just I replace this one here with p, right? So you can simplify this one. You can simplify this one like this. Just write this one in terms of p plus 1, p plus 1, right? You can you get this one when you simplify this you get this right 
and this is same uh, with the previous one here you look at this you can rearrange this one then finally you will get something something like this yeah something like this all right something like that so that means so you can show that this claim is true this claim is true then you can use that claim you can use this claim here there's that claim yeah this claim and finally you get you get this one here. very easy which is very easy which is very easy to done right uh, right so so let's denote this one as a sub n right so all terms of all terms are greater than or equal to one that means the limit of those terms does not converge to zero as n tends to zero. n tends to infinity, that means the series is divergent. Right? Similarly, you can show when x equals negative n uh, 3 cube, right? So you get this alternative series, right? So def uh, we showed that this bit is greater than or equal to one. So the mod of B n, if if we say this is B n, right, right, the mod of B sub n is greater than or equal to one for n. So that means B n also does not converge converge to zero as n tends to that means this series also divergent so the interval of convergence is given by this 